Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you this Great Gatsby makeup tutorial. It does include a hair tutorial, so stay tuned if you want to see how I got this flapper inspired look. First up, I'm starting with primer, just a standard one, and putting it all over my face. Then I'm going in with my Makeup Forever HD foundation, and I'm just applying that, uh, buffing it all into the skin. Now I'm using a concealer to cover my under eye circles. I am using one that isn't too highlighting, so it's not too light for my skin tone as I would normally use. And I'm just blending that out with my fingers. Then I'm using a face powder to set everything in place. And I'm just using the same color all over. Usually I'd use a lighter color under my eyes, but I don't really want any depth in my face because I don't think they had it back then. And just buffing that all in. And then what I'm gonna do is take a really, really bright blush. Uh, this one's a really pretty melon color. And I'm just going to pop that on the apples of my cheeks and blend it all the way up. I am going to skip bronzer and highlighter this time because they didn't have that back in the day. Then I'm going on to my brows. I'm going to do them a lot darker than usual. So I'm taking the darker color from the Brow By To Go and I'm trying to make them as straight as I can. The brows look really, really super dark and funny by the time I'm finished, but I swear that's what they would have looked like back then. I do go in with a darker brown eyeshadow as well because I felt like this brown from the Brow By To Go wasn't quite dark enough. I'm going to prime my eyes with this deep grey colour tattoo from Maybelline. So this will start the process of the dark eyes and it will also help my eyeshadow stay in place all night. Because I've already started using this palette, I'm just taking the black from it. It is a matte black, and I'm going in with this slightly fluffy brush, but pretty much I'm just packing it all over the lid. And then what I'll do is I'll bring up the color a little bit more. I don't use any transitional color. I just spend a lot of time uh, blending it out and making sure there's no really harsh, harsh lines, but it can be messy because they didn't exactly perfect the skill of eyeshadow blending and everything back then. I'm also going to take it on my lower lash line and I'm going to really really smoke it out like I've smoked out the uh, the lid color as well. Then I'm going to go in with a smudge proof black eyeliner. I'm going to trace my waterline as well as my lower lash line, make it really thick and bold and I'll also pop a little bit on my tight line. I am going on with my favorite mascara, which is the L'Oreal Telescopic. Uh, you can just use whatever you want to use. I did actually put falsies on, but you can definitely do that if you like. I just didn't that night. <laughs> This is definitely optional, but I'm just taking the cream color, the matte color from the Steal It In The Light palette and popping it underneath my brow. Then that is the makeup pretty much finished. Now for the hair, of course I'm going to use some heat protectant on my hair, so spray that in, comb it out, and then I'm going to section it off and pretty much what I'm gonna do is use a straightener to do the whole hair styling. I'm going to curl it at the back, which I'll show you what, this is in real time, so this is how long it takes me to curl a piece of hair. And then this is fast forward. Yeah, I'm just gonna fast forward through this bit. When I get to the front sections, I'm actually going to fake finger wave them with the hair straightener. So I'm going to take quite thin sections and run the hair straightener down the hair, but with flicking my wrist along the way, so it creates those crimpy kind of bumps, if you know what I mean. I don't hold the hair on the sections for very long at all, uh, but I do, yeah, as I said, take thin sections and just work it through. make the finger 
make waves a little bit more apparent, I am going to pop in some of these clips and yeah, in the holes, in, that makes no sense, and then hairspray them and do the same on the other side. So whether you see the little dips in your hair, stick a clip in there and then so hairspray it so it makes them all kind of cling together. I am going to give my hair some volume from the back, so just teasing it, spraying it with hairspray and then holding the can underneath and that will create a lot of extra volume and hold. And then all I'm doing is making a faux bob by pinning some of my hair underneath. I'm just twisting it up in my fingers and then popping a few bobby pins underneath and that will give me a faux bob. Really easy. Okay, so I didn't think this through, and you're gonna laugh, but I was just like, what is going on? <laughs> I had to leave that in there and show you. Yeah, I didn't quite think that one through. So I'm just trying out these old head pieces that I have from when I worked at Dottie. The first head piece was actually from Colette, uh, but that was pretty funny and awkward. And then I'm gonna get on to doing my lippy as well. First up, I'm using this Too Faced Inject Color Bomb in this berry color. And I'm actually trying to make the Cupid's Bow really, really pointy with this. Uh, that's just the style that they had. They had a pointy Cupid's Bow. So I'm tracing around the edges of my lips, trying to make that really, really defined and just filling them in. And then what I'll do is go in with a really deep lip color. This is Grunge from Australis. And I'll trace around the edges. And I didn't mean to, but it created an ombre effect. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. So I'll keep that. And yeah, then that was the lips done. So I really, really couldn't get that other headpiece out of my mind. So I'm going to part my hair down the center and then I'll fix up the finger waves on that side so they look okay. And then I'll chuck it on and have a play with it. And oh wait, something's missing. Yep, those necklaces. Those pearl necklaces. I found as many as I could and I chucked them all on. I think that really adds to the Gatsby effect. Even if you just get some fake cheap ones, it makes all the difference. So this was my really easy Gatsby look, great Gatsby look. I hope you guys enjoyed and have a fantastic Halloween or dress up or whatever you're wearing this to. I actually wore this outfit to a hence party, which was themed. But have a great day, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.